गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी आई एम डॉक्टर मंजेरी मेहता आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट एंड ऑब्सिटिशियन एंड अ लैप्रोस्कोपिस्ट सर्जन एट फोर्टिस हॉस्पिटल वाशिंग टुडे आई एम हियर टू शेयर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टिप्स अबाउट एक्सरसाइज इन प्रेगनेंसी विच इज़ अ वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज इग्नोर्ड बाय अ लॉट ऑफ प्रेगनेंट वीमेन देर आर सम पॉइंट्स विच वी ऑल नीड टू नो अबाउट एक्सरसाइज ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी Uh, first and most important is as we all know pregnancy is divided into three parts first trimester second trimester and third trimester that means 3 months into 3 that is how we make 9 months of pregnancy and the exercises that we follow or that we recommend in each of these 3 months are different because the progression of pregnancy happens at a certain pace and we need to design the exercise regimen which will help a pregnant woman to sail through these 3 months In the first trimester of pregnancy generally no exercise is recommended the only thing that a pregnant lady can do is probably continue going for daily walks maybe for 15 minutes 30 minutes as per her uh, capacity second trimester onwards the actual antenatal exercises or pregnancy exercises can be started but all this is applicable provided your pregnancy is progressing normally there are no other high risk factors or additional complications involved and all this obviously will be checked by the gynecologist with whom you are following once all this is sorted out then in second trimester of pregnancy the exercises which are recommended are basically the lower body and upper body strengthening exercises and back strengthening exercises of course these exercises are taught by physiotherapist or somebody who has been trained in antenatal exercises once you learn those you can do them on your own or you can do them under supervision so th- this is the core of exercises which are done in the second trimester of pregnancy now what is not to be done in second trimester is any exercise which involves lunges which involves squatting positions which involves spreading your legs out these are the kind of exercises which are to be avoided during second trimester of pregnancy once we progress to the third trimester of pregnancy the exercises also change a little bit as in there are uh, exercises which are designed for gluteal or butt muscles buttock muscles which to strengthen them and to help you facilitate uh, for a normal delivery other exercises which are recommended in third trimester are also uh, uh, the squatting exercises which again help you for facilitating normal delivery then there are uh, different types of planks which are done in third trimester uh, which involve uh, reduced intra abdominal pressure unlike what is done by non pregnant individuals so apart from these advantages uh, it is also important to exercise throughout the pregnancy because it will help you to uh, have a good appetite it will help you in uh, correcting your digestive problem to a certain extent and most importantly it will also help you in having a good temperament or good mood because exercise do release mood elevating hormones in our brains so this is the importance of exercise apart from the physical fitness point of view now before we end the last thing i would like to note is that uh, a lot of patients do have this misconception or a myth that if they take antenatal exercises uh, seriously or whether if they do them very regularly then normal delivery is ensured no it is absolutely a myth because nobody can ensure a normal delivery unless it happens it is always retrospective diagnosis as we say that after it has happened we know that somebody has delivered normally but what antenatal exercises do is make you ready or prepare you physically very well for going through the process of normal labor without any complications whether you will have a normal delivery or no will depend on lot of other factors which involve your health and your baby's health too so take care keep exercising in pregnancy under supervision and have a healthy and peaceful pregnancy see you next time